Volunteers from Salt Lake County and other areas of the state are lending a hand to help those struggling with the high water in Box Elder County. Keith McCord is at one of the main staging areas where we hear the sandbags are actually piling up there, Keith. Yeah, I'm in another part of the uh, Box Elder County Fairgrounds. Been a busy place all day. Trucks filled with sand and sandbags have been coming in. Volunteers have been filling them up and sending them out as fast as they can. Some of those sandbags came in from Salt Lake County today, thanks in part to a lot of volunteers who brought their shovels with them. Last night I got a call from my friend, uh, County Commissioner in Box Elder County, just saying that they're, you know, we've seen it on the news, they're struggling to uh, keep on top of some of the flooding, wondering what kind of help Salt Lake County could offer. Mayor Ben McAdams used social media to put out a call for volunteers and dozens of them showed up and got to work at the Salt Lake County Maintenance Facility in Midvale. Yeah, Nate, could you open the bag? The goal? To load up several of these large containers with three to 4,000 sandbags. I don't know, we just kind of grabbed a bag and a shovel, started filling. <laughs> Harriman High School 10th grader Ben Marshall and several of his friends didn't have school today, so they were happy to lend a hand, knowing that their efforts would help people who need it. Because yep, we've been on the, the uh, uh, receiving end of help before, I swear I thought that we would just do our part and help the community. Veterans, county employees, even a guy wearing a tie jumped in to help this morning. This is a common sight in Utah over the years. When people need help, volunteers show up. Since the 80s, we were here. They, you know, we relied on the volunteers to help save the, you know, the county, and so we're doing the same for Tremont today. By mid-afternoon, the big trucks from Salt Lake County rumbled into the parking lot at the fairgrounds and emptied the sandbags, ready for anybody who needed some. It's going into our cellar. We're pumping that out. We pumped it out all night, and it's just filling up so fast now that we just can't keep up. And Monica Coburn lives in nearby Garland. Her family has fought the high water for several days. As her pickup was being filled with sandbags, she expressed her thanks to all the volunteers. So much community help in other counties and all over the state, and I never thought it would affect me. I've seen it, and yeah, I'm just so emotional today, and <laughs> it's just crazy. It's crazy out here. Now, Box Elder Emergency Management has several sandbag pickup spots available to residents here at the fairgrounds. There's one right here at the bandstand area. More of the ones from Salt Lake County are just uh, a couple of buildings to the north here and then down at Elwood where a lot of activity has been going on for the last couple of days. So people who need sandbags, bring your trucks, bring your trailers and load them up because you're going to need some because it's probably still going to stay wet up here. It's snowing pretty good right now. In, Br in Tremont, back to you in the studio, guys. All right, Keith, glad to see the community pitching in there. Thank you, Dave. When Kevin